It was a historic moment few ever expected to see. A die-hard Republican shaking hands with the Queen. Martin McGuinness's transformation from paramilitary to politician is the story of Northern Ireland's journey from conflict to peace. He was born in Londonderry in 1950 in a Catholic, fiercely nationalist neighbourhood. At the age of 20, McGuinness joined the Irish Republican Army, or IRA, at the start of its campaign against British rule. Mr Martin McGuinness, the Provisional Commander in Londonderry, was on... He rose quickly through its ranks, becoming a feared senior commander, targeting British Army patrols and paramilitaries loyal to the UK. And then in 1972, British soldiers shot dead 14 unarmed civilians at an anti-British protest march. It became known as Bloody Sunday, and Martin McGuinness was there. The killings led to a surge in recruitment in a conflict known simply as the Troubles. Our supporters would like to make a clear that the provisional IRA will not stop a fight. He was flown to London to help broker ceasefire negotiations with the British government, but the ceasefire didn't last. McGuinness was briefly jailed after being arrested near a car containing explosives, but he always remained fiercely dedicated to the cause, openly presiding at the funerals of killed IRA members. In the following years, McGuinness rebranded himself as a politician and a man of the people, steering support for the nationalist Sinn Féin party, the political wing of the IRA. He soon became an elected member of the Northern Ireland Assembly. As Sinn Féin's chief negotiator in the 1990s, he played a central role in talks that led to the signing of the 1998 Good Friday Agreement, ending years of sectarian violence. Later, he became deputy first minister in a power-sharing government between Republicans and Unionists, something unthinkable only a decade before. But McGuinness struggled to shake off allegations of murder and brutality during his IRA days, and in 2011, he unsuccessfully ran for the Irish presidency. I think people look at me in the round and they know that in my younger days I was involved with the IRA, but they also know that I've been at the heart of the peace process for over two decades, and people really deeply appreciate that. A teetotaler who enjoyed fishing and poetry, McGuinness won respect from political rivals for his commitment to the peace process. But he struggled to work with the former First Minister Arlene Foster, and resigned over his coalition partner's handling of a financial scandal. He left office looking frail, reportedly suffering from a rare heart condition. With great courage and even greater forgiveness, Northern Ireland is now a peaceful region. For that, Martin McGuinness will be remembered. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera.